This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Uh, Romans 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Yeah, your you're not God. my neighbor. Leviticus yeah. the 19th yeah. chapter yeah. outlines who the neighbor is. Neighbor it's the children of Israel. Love God. I do love the Heavenly Father. And the hey, Heavenly Father hates you. The Heavenly yeah. Father hates you. Oh, yes, he does. Read no, Romans 9 and 13. I don't care. You want to read it? Oh, you don't, yeah, you don't care what I say? I'll read it. Why don't you back up? Why don't you back up, you coward? All right, this is the book of Romans chapter 9, verse 13. Romans 9, verse 13. Hey, Romans 9, verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So that's hate right there. The Heavenly Father hates you and I do too. And these Edomites, they get stirred up, but this, this ain't what you want, buddy. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor too to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, and And Shabbat Shalom as well too. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. That be like unto the speckled bird. I say Shabbat Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And I say Shabbat Shalom to you, brothers out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson on November the 8th, 2022. At 4.24 p.m. Central Standard Time. And the title of this lesson. Love thy neighbor as thyself. And this is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. As you've seen I brought out that video clip. You know Esau Edom. Thinking we are neighbors. And you know that was a prime example. As I showed you that video clip from the elder out there in uh, Sacramento, you know, he was out there preaching the word, and the Esau came, you know, the Edomite, he came up, he was saying, like, you're not supposed to not, you're not supposed to not like your neighbor, and he brought out the scriptures, and, and the Edomite saying, uh, you know, the elder, the elder was like, you want to prove, want me to prove to you in the scriptures that with me and you are not, a, not neighbors, he's, you know, uh, Esau and Jacob, you know, and Esau, as uh, soon as the elder, the elder brother was about to bring out the scripture, and Edomite said he don't, he doesn't care about that, uh, he doesn't care about the scriptures that's being brought out, he said, I don't really care about that, he, but at the same time, he said he loves the heavenly father, but he said, you're supposed to, know, you know, supposed to love your neighbor, but when the elder brother was bringing out the scripture, Esau was like, I don't really care about that, what the scripture said, but you love the heavenly father at the same time. I mean, I tell you the hip, hip, hypocrisy, and that's the spirit. Um, we was going to, we was, uh, uh, we uh, had class yesterday with Elder Benji and us in the Akim, you know, we had a class about pertaining to that yesterday. You know, because we, uh, in our class, we have a little scoff game and stuff like that for a prime example. You know, we bring out scriptures. You know, you might have a scoffer. If it's, if it's a scoffer within our nation or another nation, especially Esau Edom. If it, Esau Edom bring out, uh, you know, he, he scoff and say like, oh, you, you know, you're supposed to love everybody. Everybody's your neighbor. You're not supposed to dislike the other nations, the other nations, your neighbor and all that, you know. And you know, I kind of hesitate was uh, bringing out the scriptures, and the elder Benji and the other brothers, you know, who had class yesterday. That's a prime example, you know. Uh, you know when we, because uh, you know, as the elder Benji was mentioning, you're gonna have scoffers like that, and then. You can cut them with the, you know, with the scriptures. And they, you have them dumbfounded and confounded, you know, with the scriptures. You know, you don't have to necessarily, uh, 
you don't have to necessarily uh, uh, be vocal against them or they try to come up to you, you know. You don't have to be like super vocal against them. Hey, because those scriptures going to cut them, you know, because as the uh, elders was mentioned that, you know, because you're going to have uh, scoffers. Like the scripture says, you're going to have scoffers in the last days and, you know, and not believe in the word and the heavenly father. But how can you say you love the heavenly father, but you say you don't care about the scriptures? You know, you don't believe in those scriptures. You know, that's like the scripture says, James 1 and 8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, you know. And I'm going to bring out Leviticus. And then this is talking about loving your neighbors, which is a fellow Israelite. Not, not uh, some person of outside of the nation of uh, Israel. You know, it's talking about love your fellow Israelite brethren. You know, this is the book of Leviticus. And this is a prime example scripture right here. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, which is the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird is alike as well, too. You know, because you do have Israel that's in the Gentile state of mind. Because you have uh, two, uh, you have two different uh, Gentiles. The Gentiles is of the other nations, and then you got Gentiles that's in the uh, Gentile state of mind, learning the ways of this world and not coming back into the fold that they are in the Israelite, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, they, they rather learn the ways of this world but not coming back into the fold of an Israelite, you know? Because you got two different Gentiles. Gentiles are the other nations outside of Israel, and you got Is Israelites that's in the Gentile state of mind, you know? And that's what this... Uh, and that's what that's pertaining to. And your fellow neighbor is your Israelite brother or sister, you know. <clears throat> and this is the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 9. For thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not uh, bear false witness, thou shalt not covetous if there be any other commandment. It is briefly to comprehend in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. As we love, as we love ourselves, we should love our neighbor as ourselves as well too. And that's one of the commandments. And our fellow neighbor is an Israelite, one of the twelve tribes of Israel. You know, of uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites. We are neighbors. You know. That's what the scripture is talking about. You know, we're supposed to love our neighbor within our nation and within our tribes of our brethren, you know. Not talking about Esau. It's not talking about Moab. It's not talking about Japheth. It's not talking about Ishmael, you know. It's not talking to small hatters. It's, these scriptures are talking about the, the children of Israel, you know. And we're supposed to love thy neighbor as thyself, you know. Just like the uh, scriptures of uh, Romans 9 and 13. Jacob have I love and Esau that the most have don't like, you know. And this is the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 27 through verse 37. And verse 27. And he answered and said, Thou shalt love thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto them, Thou shalt answer right this to do, thou shalt, I, thou shalt live. But he is willing to justify himself and unto Yahweh Shai, and who is my neighbor? And Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai answered and said, A certain man was down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among the thieves, which stripped him of his remnant and wound, wounded him and depart, leaving him half dead. And any chance that came down as a certain priest, the way there were, I saw him. He passed on by the other. 
and likewise a Levite when he was at the place where he looked on him and passed by the other side. But a Saturian as he journeyed came where he was when he saw him and he, and he had compassion on him. And he went, uh, verse 34 in the book of Leviticus, and he, I mean, book of Luke, Salachia. Verse 34, and he went to him and bound up his wounds and pouring oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn, inn and took care of him. And on the morrow he departed, he took on two pieces and gave them to the host and said unto them, take care of him and whosoever spend more what I come against I will repay. Which one of these three think thou was neighbor unto him? They fell amongst the thieves. And he said, He showed mercy on him. Then said Yahweh unto him, Go and thou likewise. Right, that's a prime example of uh, loving your neighbor as thyself, you know. And Esau, Edom, and these other nations, they are not our neighbors, you know. Our close neighbors is the ones that's in the communities where we at, you know, within our inner circle. Sometimes you got Israel that's scattered amongst the other nations as well, too. But that that Leviticus is talking about uh, you know, it's talking about loving your fellow neighbor is your uh, fellow Israelite neighbor. Not the other nations, you know. As you read uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 32 and 8, when the most had divided the nations for their inheritance, because these other nations got their own inheritance, you know, and we are the children of Israel, because the Heavenly Father uh, separated us from the other nations. So our enemies, I mean, Salaki, so our neighbors is our uh, fellow Israelite brother and sister, you know, men, women, and children. That's our neighbors. Of within our nation of the respectable tribes of the children of Israel we are the children of Israel we are the lost sheep of the house of Israel the 12 tribes of the children of Israel which is the so-called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans them are neighbors the scriptures are talking about our neighbors as being Israelite your fellow Israelite brethren or sister you know and it's not talking about the other nations now the scripture says be at peace with all people as much need be, as much as possible, be at peace with everybody. But the scripture is talking about loving your neighbor as thyself. That fellow neighbor is an Israelite, you know, a fellow Israelite neighbor. Now, in our community, our neighbor is within our inner circle or neighbor that's next door to us. A neighbor a few blocks down from us, that's our neighbors of the children of Israel, you know which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know? And so with that, you know, I just want to bring out the little quick sit-down lesson, and that's the spirit. And, the, and when we had a class yesterday in Elder Benji, you know, they was bringing out that scripture about, you know, you're going to have scoffers and saying, well, Heavenly Father loves everybody. And then you might have a scoffer might say, hey, Heavenly Father loves everybody. Well, those scriptures that you uh, speaking out is is spewing H A T E. It's spewing H A T E. You know. But when the scriptures out, you know, they like the scripture says, the person flee with no man pursueth. You know, when you bring these scriptures out, because you know those scriptures are gonna be uh, you know those scriptures are are gonna get them. You know. Because, you know, how can you say you love the Heavenly Father and then you say you don't believe in the scriptures and you, you are in a scoffer? But when the men of the Lord bring out those scriptures, you know, you have change of heart. Like, oh, that y'all believe in that. Your guys are your, your guys not the most highest people and all that, you know. And the Elder, Elder Benji, Elder St. Benji, uh, when we had class, he had mentioned that. Say so you're gonna have the scoffers in the last days when you out there preaching the word, you know. You know, all you, all the thing you need to do is just uh, hit them with those scriptures. A hey, the person flee for no man pursueth, you know. So that's just a prime example, and that was the spirit. And I was like, let me do a video on that because I was looking at the elder brother from uh, Sacramento. 
he just got through finished camp and stuff like that. So yeah, you know, that was, I was like, that's the spirit, let me do a video. Let me do a quick little video on that, you know, cause that's the spirit cause we had, we was talking about this in the class before class start. You know, we had to look, like I mentioned before, at the beginning of my uh, lesson, you know, we had the little scoffing game in class we had yesterday. So that's just a prime example. And I showed that video clip, you know, you're gonna have scoffers in the last days, you know, and they're gonna say that you're not the most highest people. You know, you're preaching H A T E, prime example, you know, so it's gonna be prime examples like that. You know, that's, hey, that's spiritual, you know. So as I brought out Leviticus 19 and 18, as the elder brought out the scripture, and then he brought out Romans 9, Romans 9 and 13, hey, got Esau with those scriptures and Esau fled away you know the person flee with no man pursueth you know so with that like I mentioned again you know I hope this lesson was edifying and that's the spirit right there we was talking about that in class you know <laughs> you're gonna have scoffers and scorners in the last days you know so with that Shabbat Shalom hope this lesson was edifying like I mentioned before and I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Ba'karkadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say uh, Shabbat Shalom. And a bubble ball.